Now, none of the explanations you can come up with for the thematic aperception test activity are right or wrong. The idea is that the explanation you've come up with is supposed to reflect the projection of your unconscious personality desires or traits onto the ambiguous stimuli. One of the most popular projective tests that you see in movies all the time, if you've ever seen a Woody Allen film for example, is a Rorschach ink blot. This is where you show people a series of ambiguous ink blots. Some of them are black and white and some of them are in colour. You ask a person to describe what they see and then you score what they see according to different coding schemes. What do you see when you see this? Do you see the devil, a wolf or a dog? Butterfly? A combination of wolf and dog? This is generally one of the most common responses. I've no idea what that says about people. What a scorer has to do is take that response, say dog or wolf, and actually make a whole bunch of subjective judgments about how that response matches what the typical response is expected to be. Now, these tests are very different to a questionnaire-based assessment of personality. It involves a lot of subjective judgments. As a result, these tests suffer from low reliability and low validity. What that means is, when you get multiple raters to score people's responses, the raters have different opinions about what the responses mean. That's low reliability. When you compare the ratings on these projective tests to ratings from objective tests of personality, the correlation can be quite low. So that's low validity. Now, if the examiner is very skilled and experienced, and they adopt a systematic scoring procedure, the results can improve somewhat. These tests are still popular and used in some places, particularly in parts of Europe. Some people use them because they come from a psychodynamic approach and these projective tests are consistent with theories about personality based on this approach. Another reason that these tests are still used seems to be because these tests are good at helping a therapist to establish rapport with people who otherwise don't want to speak about what it is that has brought them to therapy. So while these sorts of projective tests might not be the best measure of personality or the most reliable diagnostic tool, they can help establish rapport between a client and a therapist, which can be a very important part of therapy.